hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are making some delicious cooking corn and we are going to be needing some sweet corn some onions scotch bonnet pepper red oil some corn granules maggi cravet salt and spinach we go ahead to pour or pour our corn in the colander and wash it properly this is a very cheap and affordable meal so it's so good to go so delicious but very affordable without so much ingredients so when that is done we put our corn in the blender we go ahead to wash our scotch bonnet pepper and onions we chop them and add them in a blender here i had to do it in two forms because it was too much to blend at the go I blend the first one and remember to blend the corn you don't have to blend it to be like too too soft you leave it to have a bit of grains in it that's how it, it is so I blend all of it put it in a bowl I go on to adding my corn granules I mix it thoroughly then I add in some salt I'm going with my seasoning cube And mix it thoroughly I then go on with my red oil I just warm the oil it's optional but I just like warming mine so it should get some cooked smell in it and you mix to the corn you mix it properly If you are clicking to my channel for the first time, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much for always engaging with my content. At this level, I go on to add in my chopped spinach. This spinach too, it's optional. It acts like vegetable to the meal. So it's optional. If you don't want, you can do your own just like that. But I like it with the spinach because it makes the meal like a bit of everything in it. So that's it. We go on to mix it gradually till it's all mixed. I only noticed the bowl was wasn't big enough but I didn't just want to change you know start putting another bowl so I had to make do with that when it's properly mixed I use my foil paper and the cooking cling to wrap it up remember it's not very healthy to use just the foil paper so we use a cooking cling to cover it up and we go ahead to wrap in desired sizes and also if you're in an area where you can easily get leaves like plantain leaves banana leaves you can use them this this other one that they used to do me under you can use it to to wrap it up here we have it here in the uk but it's quite expensive so we prefer to use our foil paper to wrap it all up now we take the process over and over so it is all wrapped we go ahead to transfer it up in a pot and uh, we leave it to cook for an hour 30 minutes i cover it with my foil paper because it makes the heat to remain inside the heat does not escape from the pot that was what I was taught by my mom. I don't know how true it is. In the interval of the 1 hour 30 minutes, I keep adding in some water. And we have to be very conscious because it can get burned. 
and our cookie corn is ready to serve thank you very much for watching to the end please like share comment and subscribe see you in my next video